Hello and welcome to a short video on how teachers and pupils can access Google Meet via the GLOW platform and Google Drive. As you can see here, I'm already logged in to my GLOW platform and I'm on the My Launchpad section. Here, I already have Google Drive added. If you don't, come down to your second icon, which should be for your school, and you should be able to find it here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Google Drive, as this is going to be one way which we can access Google Meet. Once Google Drive loads, you will see in the top right hand side an icon sometimes named as the waffle or the nine dots. It's occasionally known as the grid too, but you can call it whatever you want. By clicking on here, it will give you access to lots of different G Suite tools, one of which is Google Meet. Go ahead and click on that and this will load up another page which will take you to the sign in page for Google Meet. Here you can see that nothing is scheduled for today, but if you've already been invited to one, you might, you might see this listed here. I want to start a meeting or join a meeting, and I'm going to click on this plus icon here in the teal coloured square. In South Lanarkshire, there's only two ways that we're allowed to use Google Meet. One is through Google Classroom, which is on a separate video, and two is through what's called a Meet nickname. We're not allowed to share meeting codes. So, here is where I would type in my meeting nickname, which would be given to me by another member of staff who is maybe leading, leading the meeting, or if I was the pupil, would be given to me via my teacher. I'm going to just use a test one just now. I'm going to call it SLC, test, and AC for my initials. Please remember that this nickname is authority wide, so try and make it as unique to yourself and your individual location as you can. Once I'm happy, I'm going to click continue, and what this will do is we'll set up this particular Google Meet using that particular Meet nickname. Again, please remember that is authority wide, so make it as unique to your own situation as possible. You'll then be presented with the lobby screen where you can select to toggle your camera and microphone on or off before joining the meeting. I would recommend that you toggle both of these options off prior to entering your Meet because this just helps with the bandwidth and helps you get into your meet in a more efficient way. It also means that if anybody else is in the meet, you're not going to disrupt the meeting that is already in progress. As you can see, the name that we created, the meeting nickname is available and no one else is here at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and click join now and you will then see that I have been added to the meet. I can then use all the other functions, which I will show in another um, screencast video at a later date. Once finished, I can then press the hang up and leave call button. One point of note to remember is in South Lanarkshire, we've been asked that the teacher is the last person to leave the meet. All other pupils and all other, att other attendees should leave first before the person who is leading the meet or the teacher leaves. They should be the last to leave. And finally, obviously when you're inside the meet, you can toggle on your camera and microphone to suit yourself. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been useful.